let it reach around. That's a one, two, four. I get it on, so I get down on the floor. Look at this one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, It's your boy J Lo Whining, and I'm back. 2019 Real Game Podcast. I've been out the loop because I do a lot of things outside the loop. This is my co host to my left. Yo, Coquito King of New York, King of the No Main Topic Show, baby. Live and direct. We back. We back. We back. <laughs> back, 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 like a big bully being left back four times in the 10th grade. We back. <laughs> you dig? And I'm glad and honored to be back here. Um, you know, we never use scripts. We don't hustle. We don't deal with commercials, takes, actions, or cuts. We let it flow. Real game. Nonstop, no breaks. My mouth is 1,000 miles per second, B. Whatever. I can back it up. And I don't mean through, by way of violence, you know. I mean by way of just intelligence, you know. Anyway, we back. You know, I've been going out the loop doing a lot of things, man. A lot of faith, hope, and charity. Faith, hope, and charity. I'm not going to go into that, but a lot of my Masonic brothers out there know what I mean with the faith, hope, and charity. You don't need an organization or a group of people to help you do that. You can be a one-man one army and actually go out there and feed the homeless. Absolutely. You can support a lot of people down and out on their last dime for Dolly, you know? Sure I've been putting mad money in the streets like the dope dealer. But the money I'm putting in the street is legit money to feed folks, to help folks get that that outfit that they've been damn near killing folks to get. And I stepped in and was like, you know what? Don't do that, B. I got you. Why? Because 1410 Promotions got me. So because people got me, I got you. And I will let my cable toe go as far as my pockets allow it, you know? So I'm not a trick. It's just, you know, red, white, blue. I don't care what your ethnicity is or your nationality. If you down and out and I got it, we got it. It should always be like that. It really should. It's, and it's not that difficult to be like that. And if you know better, you just do better. It's right. not always easy to find the right time with the man in the mirror. But you know your man is starving. They both, if you could get him a wiping ball, if you could get him a bag of chips, you could get him a bag of it, it's all awesome. If you could get him a bag of chips, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the big deal? Like, I do it all the time, man. Any. Yo, it, it's, it's, not, it's not that hard to be a human being, man. It really isn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a woman out there with a small charge. You got a hand out, man. Reach in your pocket to give a little change. You ain't got to give it all up. Exactly. Like, my man Sam within the length of the cable tour. If you can do it, you should do it. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people who I deal with on a regular basis who look at my show, look at his show, and they're all positive people. They're always into something that helps somebody else, whether it be school-wise, whether it be anywhere in the community, soup kitchens especially, Okay. Anything you could do is always helpful, man. You know, we this is this is one planet we live on, and you only get really get one shot. You can talk about whatever you want, science, reincarnation. Even then, that's still your one shot. Exactly. You know? Do your best to take care of your fellow man because, believe it or not, you know sometimes that really is all you got. I've been down and out myself. Let me tell you, it takes it takes about. 185,337 steps to get from 180th Street and Broadway all the way downtown Manhattan. Ask me how I know. And I got to help all, all along the way. You see what I'm saying? So it's nothing to put up, you know, put up a little bit of cash, or even if it's just to give you time. It's nothing to do that for people, ladies and gentlemen. And it's, and it's a wonderful thing. It really is wonderful because when you see them doing a little bit better, it make you realize I got the capacity to do and be better. You know, we pay it forward as we go. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. Even a simple wise word, words of counsel. At, oh, man. Everything ain't even money. You know what I'm saying? Just your time and being devoted to what you do. Uplifting fallen humanity. Everything ain't about chasing the bag, you know? You, if you ain't got knowledge, there's no reason to chase the bag because once you got the bag, how you gonna manifest something from that? Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Chase that knowledge, wisdom, so that that understanding to get you to all the bags, B. Right on. What you chasing, one bag, or you wanna chase multiple bags? Uh, yeah. I like to chase bags, mm. but... At this age, I'm not into motherfucking running track. Do I look like Jesse Owens? No. So I'd rather the bag chase me. Ooh, but big deal. 
it takes a specific and certain type of knowledge and wisdom to obtain such position. You understand? This is the real game show, and we here giving you real game. Now, when I give game, you know, a lot of people say, oh, well, J. Lo, when you're dealing with game, you're manipulating the minds of the people. Let me tell you something. Your mind already, already manipulated. Mm, All I'm it? doing is feeding it on a level that it would understand. True, you understand? Hey. Had, had you had real right knowledge and wisdom, there'd be no need for the real game. You dig? Mm. Well, people gravitate to me, and so I give them something worthy of um, having in the long run. You know, short-term pressure will always bring long-term pain. Remember that. Mm. Short-term pressure always bring long-term pain so with that being said you know we're going to get into the show today and today's topic is a controversial one well that's what real game is about controversy but it's good controversy oh, it's I, controversial. Can, I, I can give them bad controversy yeah really but i'm not here to emasculate no man and i'm not here to defamate and defecate on no female you dig but i do have something nice for today and a lot of people gonna feel some kind of way, but that's cool. I'm I'm not Duke that got beat up the other night from what was Duke name? Oh, Jussie Smollett from I'm Empire. I'm not Jussie. I'm yeah. Joshua J Lo. <laughs> it's a difference, okay? We bust back, my G. So he said he got <laughs> we beat bust up. Bust back, right? What happened with that motherfucker? Yo, be honest, ah. Uh, let me go on record to saying this. <laughs> I'm a bouncer, okay? And bounce, baby, bounce. That's it. When I and when I was in my younger years, like when I was in my twenties, I fuck niggas up for a living. Of course. Right? So I've lost teeth. I've been shot. I've been stabbed. Okay. I've been through four or five bulletproof vests. All right. I know the anatomy of beating somebody's ass. <laughs> I know what that looked like when the first hit and the last hit. Okay. Exactly. That Especially nigga, if you got beat up too. I'm trying to tell you that nigga. I, hey, look, 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 look. Let me tell you something. In this climate now where you question the motherfucker what would have happened to him, you get in trouble for that. Fuck that, my nigga. I don't see like how nothing happened to you that bad, okay? <laughs> and there's, like I said, the anatomy of the situation, the, the sequence of events, right? I'm Jussie Smollett. I'm Jussie, high yellow, in demand, prettiest motherfucker there is out there, Smollett, <laughs> all right? I'm the, Jesse. I'm the sexiest of all of Lucius's sons, okay? I'm prettier than Terrence, <laughs> light skin, high yellow eyes, goddamn smart out D here. For Deshaun, a, Deshaun. I'm, I'm prettier than Terrence Deshaun Howard, all right? Deshaun. Sparks, sparks, sparks. I'm prettier than that nigga, you feel what I'm saying? And here it is, I finished shooting, or whatever I was doing, and you know what? I want a Subway sandwich. What do I do? I go walking. I go walking downtown Chicago, 2 o'clock in the morning, get a sandwich. 2 in the morning. 2 in the morning, get a Finish sandwich. Fall. 2 in the morning to Finish get a fall. sandwich. Mind you, I'm Jesse Smollett. I could have had that brought up to my room. No ratchet. No, I, uh, no mace. Come on. In Chicago? No taser. Coming from the south side, south side? Deep, that, really? No razor. Nothing. No blade. And, and, and like, you didn't think shit was fucking real? No camera. Well, you find this dude at 2 o'clock in the morning in fucking Times Square, even. And Times Square is pussy. No cameras. All right? <laughs> and, oh, my God. And the, listen, let me tell you something. Uh, let me tell you something. I've never been to Chicago, my nigga. I've never been to Chicago. But I believe that Chicago PD shit. <laughs> them Chicago police, them motherfuckers, listen. I'm not going to say they ain't shit, but they do the fucking shit out of their job. Yo, police in Chicago, dirty Yo, as fuck. Yo, my nigga. I mean, they, they dirtier than your side, bitch. What my man you... said? <laughs> what my man said in that movie? He said, one thing about this town, Mr. Nash, it stinks worse than the whole house at low tide. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So he was outside 2 o'clock in the morning with your high ass. Going to get a subway. Mind you, I looked on my map. There's like seven subways around there. So I understand. Okay, let me pick one. And then these two, the two assailants approach you with a mask on. And they had to make America great again. The MAGA hat on. And they called you a black fag. And put a rope around your neck. And lumped you up a few times. And then poured some unknown substance on your face. And you took a picture with swollen cheeks and a cut under your eye. What? I personally don't believe Bro, he ain't go what to I'm subways. hearing. He went on the subway. They gave him a foot long, <laughs> and the unknown substance on his face was nut. And he paid five for five? What did he say, five a foot long? I don't Damn. know what he paid, That's but they had masses on because they was into voyeurism. Look, 
At they the end of all of that, Matrix in Chicago. Listen here. And they nutted on his face. These hands have <laughs> built New York City since 2002, and these hands been smacking niggas around nightclubs since 1997. See, he a Hollywood nigga. We street niggas. That's why it's a big difference. Yeah. When I go out two in the morning, you already know. And I go out with about four to six grand on my hand, right? Right? At two in the morning. Bling, bling, ring, ringing. And all the stick up kids got. Yo, they can just do whatever they want with me at that time. Ain't that night, shit right? happened by you, niggas? Boy, walked up in the spot and give it up, nigga. You like what? Listen, and they ain't fucking. Yeah, and they, they looked at this nigga with the fuck. Nigga had the whole last supper on his fingers, and they ain't want no smoke. How you robbing niggas, nigga, with all the fucking bring? He nigga Josh had only ten Super Bowl rings, and my man didn't want to even look at him. Cause niggas know who to rob, son. I'm glad he didn't go to me. You know, um. That story could have been real bad, B, because, you know, I do be holding. There's no mystery, B. Peep my history. You dig? Mm, mm, it's a, mm. If you see me walking around with this, ain't no way it's an ice pick or some motherfucking mace on me, B. Something. So I'd rather get caught with the shit on me than caught without it. You dig? I got mm -hmm. a big family. They not burying my shit. Hell no. But I like fashion. I like to look good. And I like to go out at 2 in the morning, whether it's in Chicago, New York, Jersey, Connecticut, wherever we Right are. to the chicken spot. Chicken spot, whatever. You stupid, man. He throwing shots, B. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, shout it out to everybody who was on the other end of the motherfucking barrel of the gun, B. Now. It's a fucked up feeling, B. Now, here go the wild part about the police. <laughs> well, I don't trust Chicago police, but they dirty, I, bro. I do trust cameras. Because you know why? They don't blink. Okay, so you mean to tell me in this day and age, you don't walk past ATM cameras, store cameras, and every storefront has a camera for insurance purposes. You fucking better. It come with the package. You feel what I'm saying? You go and take that camera. And plus, if you look at the camera, got the little LEDs around the fucking, that's night vision right there. <laughs> Them shit shining infrared lights, you can't see to light your ass. You in all, Night vision. You the in vision he lacked. Flare. You know what y'all call duty. I know what flare is. I ain't got to say what the fuck it is. It's going to show you highlighting white or black or green. So you mean to tell me Chicago PD found nothing? Nothing. Nothing that saw you getting straight, molly whopped? Straight to Wano Brawley type shit. What the fuck? Yo, Jesse, Jesse, yo, call Al Sharpton. He's a member job of 55 in Prince Hall. That's my man all day. Give him a call. See what he can do for you. I don't know if Al Sharpton work out there in Cali. Who, who's, who's Al Sharpton? Who's a, uh, Chicago's Al Sharpton? Do you know? Um, Nah, man. Chicago's so fucked up right now, man. Everybody mm -hmm, trying mm -hmm, to... um. Mm -hmm. Everybody trying to come together, B, but at that same time, like we saying, the police so fucking dirty, it don't matter who in position. Shout out to Chicago, B. They in position. Police mad dirty, B, and I'm a New York nigga telling you Chicago police Yo, dirty. If y'all ever seen Candyman, B, if y'all ever saw the first Candyman, that is how Cabrini Green actually fucking looked. <laughs> These niggas was on location, but by the time they got there, they had moved everybody out. Exactly what you saw... How they was walking through them buildings, that's exactly how Cabrini Green looked. So, if police come to the 12th floor, I break a hole in the floor and skip down to nine. One, two, three, and I get away. And niggas live like that. Yo, shout out to Chicago, because my nigga, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm talking about Coney Island, Brooklyn. Nigga, East New York never looked that bad. Hell no. Uh, uh, Brownsville. That, was, that was the murder capital of motherfucking America at Brownsville one point. Brownsville never looked that bad. With a record total of 2,000 bodies from 89, to, from 89 to 92, 2,000 every year on record. Never mind who didn't fucking make it. Y'all saw a clock is in the beginning. The, the only Ooh. thing wrong with Brooklyn right now, and, and even Brownsville, and I rep Brownsville to the death, mm. is that the new generation, they not even crack babies, they the babies after the crack babies. Mm, mm, mm. Them niggas are snitches, B. Oh, my God. Them, them little niggas, yo, all them dudes under 30 years old, they be snitching, B. Mm, and, and, it's, and it's not a bad thing to them. It's a, it's a fucking trend. Yeah. It's like it's okay for them to snitch. Everything on the fucking phone now. Yo, son, we live, son. Like, are you fucking dumb? Oh, my God. And then what? get to the jailhouse and can't live, B. Yo, B, could you imagine? <laughs> Yo. Can't live. PC even tough now. I don't even know. Word up. I would go to PC just to house niggas, B. <laughs> fuck. Yo, who the fuck is this shit here doing this shit? Yo, nigga, you don't know about that. Shut I tell the CO straight up. Yo, they told me to pack my shit, CO. I got 10 minutes or they going to cut me. Mm. I get the PC, the whole house is J Lo's. Mm, mm, Be real mm. game for motherfucking OBCC, B. What up? Oh, shit. The protected custody side, B. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> 
Word up. But yeah, we lollygagging, man. We gonna get into the real motherfucking crazy topic for the day, which is the untold stories of New York City graffiti. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Martha Ooh. Cooper and motherfucking, uh, what's his name? Henry Chiffon. They've been shining for years off of us. And um, from what I heard from the old timers, nobody got a dime, B. Oh, like, rest in peace to Dondi. Like, niggas left the earth and didn't get a dime for half this shit. Originators. And the crazy shit is they didn't even uh, interview the real niggas out there in the trenches, B. Mm. I mean, shout out to everybody that laid the way they paved the foundation. They made it what it is for us to, um, you know, follow. But at the end of the day, don't act like Brooklyn ain't on the fucking map, B. All day. Don't act like that when we got mad motherfuckers, hard hitters from Brooklyn. Everybody that was all city or real dominant in the game was from Brooklyn. All the stick-up graffiti niggas is from Brooklyn. When you hear Bronx or Harlem nigga got their jaw broke on an island or in the streets over graffiti, Brooklyn. So... This is one of the reasons Martha and Henry couldn't go to Brooklyn, okay? There was mad dope niggas in Brooklyn. You had TK from the TNR crew, King Kice, Seven Hoods. Oh, y'all gonna hear it. You had U5 from Bushwick. You had YNN from Brownsville and Flatbush. BTP from the Cephalo Houses. MOG from the BMT lines all over. NOK, okay, man. Shout it out to Cooper Houses. Shout it out to my man, Knock. I mean, Mac and OK. I'm over here shouting it out to my man, Knock Wine in. But, you know, that's because I get hyped when I hear Brooklyn. You understand what I'm saying? You got WGF, big motherfucking deck. He was out there stomping shit in Marcy. You know what I'm saying? You got my man, Nash, BBK from Brooklyn. They never heard about what he was doing. BBK was holding sway over the B-lines in the 80s. Sash, all the motherfuckers, Doug167. So it was a lot going on out there. RNS from East New York, Sick Crew. You got Crazy Illy. You know, even though me and Illy never see eye to eye, but when we get on that wall, we act up. You know what I'm saying? The only reason me and Illy don't fight is because Illy like 80 years old, and I'm like, you know, in my mid-40s. That ain't fair. If I bust Illy shit, maybe 20 years ago, he probably could have bust my shit. Illy, I get to talk shit right now because you ain't here. Still love you, nigga, but it's my turn, B. You know what I'm saying? We had NBG from Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? A lot of powerful IRT and BMT and IND graffiti artists that never get no shine, man. Do these, do and these, I'm here to rep that. These kids even know what that means? IND, Yo, BMT, IRT? They have no Ooh. clue because they smoking too much 40 ounce and drinking too much weed. Mm, 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 you understand? Mm. I, you heard it right, B. Terrible. You know, y'all snorting too much heroin and shit and blowing too much motherfucking, you dig? Independent rapid transit. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want y'all to know for the records, man. TNR from Flatbush, TK, Kais, McGornum, they had Brooklyn in a headlock, okay? Mm. Them brothers dominated almost every train line in the 80s, okay? Shout out to TK, TNR, and Kais, Seven Hoods. You know what I'm saying? Shout it out to Magoo and all the brothers from TNR, okay? Stop acting like y'all don't know they ran Brooklyn, B. Shout it out to Trike. Stop acting like Trike ain't have Brooklyn in the headlock. He had Graves in on Smash, B. Wow. For Hamilton. You could not go there if you didn't know King Trike. Now y'all niggas uptown and downtown hurt. Because y'all got a real relevant graffiti dude in the house giving it to you raw. But like I said, the name of the show... Listen, we don't owe nobody no motherfucking apologies. This is real game, uncut, raw like Coke level four. We gonna give it to you like that. You know what I'm saying? And for and and and, and to add on to all the madness that's coming out of my mouth, not only did I mention them dope brothers, but some of the dopest graph artists in the game that's doing burners from the 80s even to now are from Brooklyn. You know, wine and crew, wine and ink masters. You've seen us all over the internet. Um, I'm probably, if not, the number one, but you give it out of one to four niggas in the whole New York, I get the most commissions, if not the most. I see at least 60 commissions a month. So the average, the average artist see about 60 every two years. So now you know why I run around with all the polo and the jewelry and all that shit. 
Okay, shout out to 1410 Promotions. This is what, when, when you're doing graffiti for this long, you're supposed to look like this. Okay, you can't be on Instagram and Facebook putting up throwies and incomplete fucking black books talking about you this nigga and you the king and you, fuck out of here. Where's your motherfucking, where's your wages, B? You got to show something. You got to back up everything you're saying. Where's the Rolexes? Like, what type of graffiti and commission jobs are y'all getting? Y'all still doing jean jackets? Y'all still airbrushing t-shirts? That's what we doing? Nah, man, you got to elevate, man. And that's why Brooklyn is in the house to show you y'all been bamboozled. Y'all all been bamboozled. The real graffiti history and art is right here, B. Y'all go look up MOG. Do the math. Look up TNR. Look up U5. Look up 501. 501 was one of the biggest crews that came out of Brooklyn. It's either 501 or U5. I'm going to say U5, but 501 is definitely top three. Okay? And they hit every train in New York City. They were hitting the K's when the K trains was out. Ooh, that's a long time ago. When the JFK's were going to fucking to the airport, those were getting ago. smashed oh by my, my nigga Doug 167. Time ago. Take the train to the plane. Mm, that's where that comes from. Take the train to the plane. That's when the phones were only 10 cents. 10 shit. cents. That means the train was only 75 cents back then. Kaidi oh, Chung had a damn. body at this time, B. Like, we going way back. Crazy Eddie was young, you know? Yo, listen. Insane. <laughs> Crazy Eddie Price is an insane. I remember seeing on one of the uh, new, old newspaper articles a TV for $63, B. Colored. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was born before color TV. So you already know when we got a color TV, my whole shit was like, what mm -hmm. But anyway, I'm going to give y'all a dope-ass Brooklyn graffiti history right now. Y'all familiar with Low Lives, right? Shout it out to Low Lives. Low Lives, RLPC, IAC, Outdoorsman, whatever. Everybody, my Haitian brothers, all my low, yo, everybody, low rangers, everybody, steam team, everybody. Shout it out to them. But did you dudes know that Low Life have some of the most notorious graffiti artists within their body? Shit is real. I'm not even going to name who's who. Whether they knew or they owe. Low lifes in the 80s. Y'all seen them naughty 40s on the motherfucking 5 train. Y'all seen them Becks and Hazards and Mr. Disco's all over the place. Y'all seen Rack Low and Ski Low name all throughout Brooklyn. Y'all seen Zubang and e Yuck all throughout Brooklyn. Shout it out to Thurston How the Third. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all seen the little Vic Lows here and there. I'd rather thirst and how tell y'all what he write. You know what I'm saying? That would be exclusive. Y'all can get that interview and, and he can actually build and talk about how he was doing graffiti and breakdancing back then. Low life is a big movement in the graffiti division in New York. So if you ain't never heard that, listen to me. There's nobody in the whole state of New York that throw a bigger event than low lifes. Shout it out to Rack Low. Hit him up. Yo, go to YouTube, anywhere on the internet, type in Low Lives. It's going to come up big. Low Lives throw the biggest functions in the whole state of New York twice a year. I don't know what's bigger, Low Life uh, Barbecue or Low Goose on the Deuce, okay? Shout it out to Low Lives. Now, I'm going to take y'all to another little treat. Did y'all know that d -Sep, that's right, y'all know the flavor, d had a whole bunch of dudes that was in the graffiti movement. Shout out to Born Perfection, a.k.a. M-O-B-T-P. Shout it out to my man Blur. Y'all seen his names all around. Used to be all in the subway train stations. Me and my man Blur had it out over graffiti. Bing, bing, bing. Had to go home and explain to my moms why my eyes is looking Jackie Chanish. This graffiti shit in Brooklyn is real. All right? So... Y'all getting this first-hand knowledge from me, but I'm not going to elaborate on it because I'd rather sit with the individuals rather than naming them. And everybody I'm mentioning, 98% of them I do know. I actually run around with niggas, you know. Um, here's a good one for y'all. I'm going to take it home on the graffiti shit. My BCC family, Boot Camp Click. Hey. 
Did y'all know 90% of them were writers? My man Steel, Top Dog, Shucky Ducky, Strain, Louisville, Rock, Rock. Rest in peace, Rock, Sean P. We all did graffiti. Niggas actually was in the trenches with us. My man still, ST. We took him to 121 layup. We got there later, Mr. Ho set me, him and my man Ira. We took son there. Son was giving it up. You know, don't get this music shit twisted, B. My man Strain was always in the layups with us. You understand what I'm saying? Shout out to my man DL1, a.k.a. Bad Vibes from Glenmore. Rest in peace. BTP was a dope crew from Seth Flo and Glenmore houses in the 80s. A lot of y'all don't know that. But y'all never took the time to sit down with the real niggas that came from the street. Y'all rather go on the internet and, 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 and feed off of what niggas putting in statuses and, and listen to the old junkies on the block remixing shit. It don't go that way. You want some real graffiti history? Come see your boy J. Lo YNN, okay? I've been in the game over 34 years, B, okay? And I ain't never changed, B, okay? Nobody got dirt on me. I give it up on the wall like I give it up on the canvases. I give it up on the canvases like I give it up in the books. And y'all already know, I give it up to the bank. Y'all already know. It's no acting, no rehearsing. We don't fabricate these stories, B, okay? So, with that being said, we're going to move along to some more. Some more Brooklyn gangster shit. This one right here is dope. Did y'all know that a lot of the nation of Islam and Nation of Gods and Earth played a big part in the all motherfucking graph movement. Shout it out to my man Doug167. The only Muslim I knew that went bombing with the kufi and hijab on. The only graffiti nigga that went bombing with the slippers on. With the hijab on. Wow. You dig? Looking like he doing a lot up in the layups, B. It's a lot of, yo, it's a lot of info, but I don't want to give it out to y'all. Like I said, I'm coming out with a few books. All I got to do is get them published, and that's no problem. Money, anything. But those stories right there, I'm not going to sell those, okay? Truth don't need to be sold. I give it to you for free. You understand what I'm saying? This is your boy, Jay Loco, from the Real Game Podcast. And um, it's getting hot in here, man. We're going to go to a little break and um, catch a breather. And then we're going to get into some politics with my man, Lord Akinat and shit. Yay, yay. Shout it out to all my graph bombers who laid the way, who paved the way, and even some of you old dudes who motherfucking overrated, man. Like, a lot of y'all niggas talking about y'all went bombing, and y'all niggas did 12 fucking trains, and when them shits went away, you were dead just with the trains. Y'all niggas lost your whole career, B. Yo, we're going to go to a music break, and, um... My man Lord is going to um, take y'all to a world <laughs> of, how can we say, politics, okay?
It's your boy J Lo wearing in, and I'm back. Real Game Podcast, episode three million. <laughs> ah. Ah. Yo, we don't really care about the episodes. We know what episode it is, but we back and blacker than ever. Yeah, so you know, before we took this music break, I was um, just gonna piggyback and refresh your memory. And for those who missed it and um, chiming in live, um, I was just letting y'all know. You know, Brooklyn, you know, takes uh, and plays a big part in the graph movement. So don't ever lose focus and keep listening to these fucking uh, graffiti leeches and shit. These non-historians and shit. You know what I'm saying? So we're going you know, to get into it right now, man. We're going to uh, set aside the graffiti differences and shit. And we're going to talk about what's going on in the media and in the world and on the news. And all that good shit. And everybody who lost their screws. You dig? Lord. What up, brother? What's been going on, B? Yo, there's been so much happening in the news right now, and it's mostly based around politics. You know, talked about the whole Jussie Smollett incident. I gave you my views on that. I, if he did catch a beating, I hope he does get better. Just don't make it a big, stupid gay deal, okay? Gay's Word. normal now. Who gives a fuck, all right? That's Word. enough. It's over with. Y'all niggas wanted equal rights. Give, the rain, give the rainbow back to the sun in the fucking in, in, in the sprinkle showers, okay? Knock it off. Y'all stole a whole color <laughs> spectrum from God. Fuck out of here. Um, politics mostly, man. The, the shut on has happened, but it's temporary. It's not. They say it's not going to last long. You know, I'm glad everybody's getting paid. But um, like you know, like I say on my show, man, politics is about what we, you, the people, do. That's why I say in the Constitution, we the people. When you got that term, we the people, it doesn't mean us as in the herd. It means that me talking, Jay talking, Mav talking, Sosa talking. Everyone got an individual voice, even though we all black men. We got to have our own individual voice. It's, you know what I'm saying? The only way it's really going to work out. So when I see people sitting around wasting time blaming politicians and pointing the finger at a certain somebody up in the White House with a flappy fucking, uh, what's that, mop top? What do they call that shit? Uh, you stupid. Yeah. They got, like, you, got, you, you know what's so dope about what you just said? Mm. We the people. When you look in any law's dictionary, and I'm going to give it to you just the way Black's Law Dictionary would define it. People... And law means the mass of individuals constituting a state. Mm. I'm going to say it again. People means the mass of individuals constituting a state. Indeed. The state, the state as a whole, the state of individuality. True, indeed. Carry right? on. So 
I want to I want to start this off by talking about the Electoral College, right? Mm -hmm. Now, no one had a problem for eight years when Obama got elected. No one, had, not even Republicans, cried about the Electoral College. You know why? It's necessary. Okay, the majority of the people in this county or in this state only account for roughly. I, I should look this up in my post. They only account for roughly about thirteen percent of all counties in America. 13% okay. is what everybody is. Where's the other 87% counted for? They got to mm -hmm. get counted for, right? So this is what ends up happening where is to say New York State, for instance, is a blue government, right? But only five counties in New York is blue. The rest is all blood fucking red. So how is this a red, a red state? You said, how is it not a red state? And you, you might have went over a lot of people's heads like you did that dude on the internet. Oh, know? listen, listen, listen. Yo, listen. just check. Yo, when y'all have the time, because we are educated street nerds, okay? We are balanced. Look up red right wing and left wing. Jeez. Red politics, blue politics. It exists, okay? When we say politics, we don't mean the political aspect of what you be getting out your daily news. No. That right there is a formula to fucking dictate and, and actually keep you in a certain state. But look up red, red and blue uh, politics. It'll come up and um, look up red, wing, right wing and left wing. Right. And, and then it'll take you into the color codes. And also look up republic versus democracy. Make sure you look that up too, okay? The republic for which it stands, one nation under God and divisible. You'd rather have that republic than that goddamn democracy because democracy stays etched in stone. The republic says, okay, you committed a crime that's worth 10 years, we'll give you a five to seven, say you behave. Because you don't want to keep you in jail forever. You got life to live. You got money to make us on the social security end. You ain't making that much fuss in jail. That's you a career criminal, okay? You know, God willing, according to the state, right? The republic gives you a chance to redeem yourself, okay? And even though you got state supervision, if you get out of prison still living, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, it's part of the terms and conditions. You know what I'm saying? Like, understand one thing. Your first trip through Central Booking was out your mama's ass. <laughs> Didn't they swab you and fingerprint you when you came in the hospital? That's Central Booking, nigga, just so you understand went through that. the system. You feel what I'm saying? The born. first day you was born, you went through the system. You in the system. Now. Half of the U.S. population lives in roughly, this look like, this whole thing, map is a jumble. I say 15% of the whole state, everyone populates as far as votes and population. What about the rest of the country? The Electoral College helps take care of that. You can look up the rest of that if you want, okay? If you want to complain about it for one president versus the other, you're the fucking problem. Okay, because what that means is you didn't take care of your county the way you should have. You didn't organize people who got the same fucking problem as you to help fix the damn thing because you don't trust one another. That's what you <laughs> unified on. You unified in lack of fucking trust. And don't act like you're not. That's why you try to pick one. That's why you hopefully get, not even pick, you hopefully get one person. And then to ask your black asses just to sit downstairs and count some votes at the polling, you want to figure out your stipend first. Go do your fucking job, man. That's it, man. If you don't understand Politics. what the Politics. You know I mean? If you don't understand what the job is, that's okay. If you want to play the fringe, that's especially your case. We can see your stupid ass. Act like this ain't a part of you, too. Act like you, I don't get involved in that. Yes, you do. By you not doing shit, you automatically went the wrong way. Now, that's, that, is the, that is the truth on the local level. Bottom line, if you're not in the shape and the change of what happens in, in your neighborhood, in front of your face, don't look toward Washington for shit. It doesn't work that way, okay? You ain't got to wear a suit to be in, in the politics. I'm in the politics being on the CEC in my district. Anyone could be in the CEC in any district. I employ any parent, any uncle, whatever they got, some kids they watching, get on the community educational council. It's information you're not going to get otherwise. And it is specifically designed to empower the parents. You got no excuse, okay? You got to be a career ultra Right now, getting handcuffs, put on them felon for the CEC not to want you. You got to be the ultimate ugliest child rapist embezzler for the CEC not to want you. You understand what I'm saying? For real. It is not a joke. They will take anybody to help, especially the men out there. You hear me? The fellas, they want men because men are oftentimes silenced. You know how I go. Welfare shit's still in play. She got the kids. She got the power. You automatically look like you ain't shit, so you don't say shit. It's understandable. 
taught the wrong way growing up to be men. It's, it's, it's almost impossible, especially if you got this color skin and that color and that tax bracket. You fuck. No, you're not. You feel what I'm saying? So when it comes to politics, do the best that you can and understand the game you're playing. It's no excuses. C-SPAN is free on every cable fucking service provider. C-SPAN. You need to watch how your votes are being tallied. You need to watch who's talking for you. You need to watch who says what. Fuck this Facebook shit. Watch C-SPAN. That's where your politics are happening. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? <laughs> Be a part of it. I'm not telling you to go run and get elected. You, you, let me tell you something. Steve Bannon is my motherfucking man. Steve, fuck you in the world you live in, Bannon. That motherfucker sat on 60 Minutes and said, do you think I got more political power in the White House or out the White House? After he left the White House, <laughs> just in time too. He never got fired. He said, you know what? I'm done, Mr. Trump. I'll see you around. Where's he at now? Somewhere in the world making shit happen. Okay? Now, his politics are not mine. They're very skewed. But that man has a purpose. And he's on his fucking job. And it's not because he's white. Cory Booker and friends, that fucking faggot, okay, <laughs> he made sure that whenever somebody white fights you now, if you dare say cracker, any of them white racist names, that's a federal hate crime now. Word up. The black people got you niggas fucked up. You niggas. Can't, you can't say cracker no more when you fighting a racist white person. You go to jail niggas. for that. Lord have mercy. And all because your statue of the This is great. Peep, peep the politics. This is great. Cracker, cracker now supersedes nigger. Damn. So now, since we niggas call each other niggas, it lost its value. Oh, shit. It lost its value. Now you nigger, nigga, and nigga. Because if you call one of these white Anglo-Saxon Edomites a fucking cracker, you're going down. Okay? Why are you whipping their ass for calling you a nigger? So now, now what are we going to do? We had the chance to drop the N-word, but niggas don't come together. So what they do? They scrap nigger. Now niggas are part of the fucking American language. It's a normal word now because you niggas made it normal. Niggardly. You've been niggerized. Niggerly. Look that word up. N-I-G-G-A-R-D-L-Y. Niggerly. What up, my niggas? It's not even a bad word no more, according mm -hmm. to politics, B. There you go. But you're also busy on Instagram and Facebook shaking your ass and chasing these thirsty bitches with all this vitiligo up in their ass and shit. <laughs> and you fucking <laughs> miss the whole fucking mission statement these niggas was giving you. But Jada Villalago look good on her though, though. It's, it's pretty. It's... Oh, you must have seen what I seen. You know it. <laughs> it's really funny though. Nasty. You know it's funny though. She just caught that though. That wasn't Word. her four or five years ago. That just happened to her. Yo, for you the records, man, she looking good on Instagram, huh? Oh, yeah, no doubt. Her Villalago ass is busting uh -huh. through the charts. And you know what I like about it? She got a real ass, so it can give you oh, a real imagination. Yeah. Yeah. A real imagination. But back, but back to the science of the politics, man. It's so important that folks get involved. You ain't got to go make a sign. All you got to do is just <laughs> show up and be accountable. We'll make That's a sign. It. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> all you got to do is just show up and be accountable. That's all. Why ain't nigga draw y'all signs? You want to pick a sign? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Word, come to my man right here. Get you a sign real fast. Fix your sign up. Red wing, black Word. wing, blue wing, whatever. How am I politicking? One nine hundred. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? That's all it really takes. Let me tell you something. All the fringe people out there, y'all some of the most intelligent people on earth playing the fucking fringe. Except for the one I cursed out on Facebook. That, that French man don't count. <laughs> Sorry, dude. You asked for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, shout right, out, look. shout out to, um, because I, I just lost my father. Shout out to his mom. He was talking shit while she was on her deathbed. That's crazy. I'm surprised the bitch didn't die while we were arguing. But rest in peace to her. I know she dead by now because she was dying that day. Mm. Shout it out to her French ass in hell. What, I don't give two shits about her. He ain't give a fuck about my father. This is politics. So may she rest in wherever Anglo-Saxons and Edomites rest. Be using <laughs> carry on. But yeah, man, at the end of the day, politics is not hard to get into. Just be careful of the parlor tricks. See? Word. They got parlor tricks for your asses and disguised as politics, okay? And I'm going to say this again to the fringers, to the revolutionaries <laughs> who want to wear shirts and let their fucking hair grow and not take a bath, okay? Go the fuck up, okay? 
Put that Irish spring on your funky ass and go make a fucking difference, okay? Fuck your hair, fuck your shirts, all right? It means nothing. Fuck you taking trips to places you wouldn't, couldn't go before. That means nothing, all right? The time is now. The fringe people, y'all do all the studying. We ain't doing do dashikis and afros no more, B. Knock it off, B. Shit is serious right y'all now. Y'all study, y'all work hard, y'all, y'all ask cats like me, what's up? Y'all like to y'all talk to me because you know I, I, got, I rock that square and compass. Y'all love asking me all kind of undercover questions, and I can answer them all. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to this whole political work, man, y'all are necessary. Don't forget, it is about counting numbers. Okay, look, listen to most Dev song. And, and stop, blaming the, stop blaming the Freemasons, B. Oh, man, cut you it You know out. what I'm saying? Every drive by was by a non Freemason, B. Like, stop it. Okay? I don't understand what the Lodge is about. Stop it, man. I need to come become, you know, sign a petition to become poor blind candidates. The Freemasons, they own hospitals, B. They the same lawyers that's going to be getting you out of prison. Indeed. Stop bobbing oh, yeah. them, and man. Oh, yeah. And if you're sick of Freemasons, <laughs> man, stop giving them little half bro hugs. That's Masonic. <laughs> <laughs> don't stand with your heels together looking like a flower. Shout <laughs> it out Masonic. to the Freemasons, man. Shout it out to mainstream. Shout it out to all. Even the clandestines. Mm. Shout mm. it out to all who have gone that route be shouted out but for those out there who be googling shit and, and on the internet and thinking they know about that masonic shit leave that shit alone man that's like trying to study me and know what's going on in my home how many cribs i got mm. you don't know mm. how many cars i have mm. you don't know how many children but y'all will go on there and talk all this illuminati shit <laughs> my man said yo <laughs> what you mean i'm eavesdropping i said no you're eaves dropping it's little, 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 little knowledge about what that term really means. So you stop saying it with your scared asses, okay? You motherfuckers are happily dumb. Old time Masonic temples were either at the top of the hill or the bottom to see enemies coming. So most people couldn't come in through the front door because there was a big, bad son of a bitch about my size. They were the big sword. His name was Tyler, okay? So they would put eaves, branches of leaves on top of the large and make you think that that was actually covered. So what would a cowan? do not a coward but a cow in a man who wants to be a mason but too scared to go be one he will crawl up there in the top and try to listen in he will crawl further and listen in he crawled to the middle ah boom fall right on the blazing star they get their spears up confusion in the crowd who is this eaves dropping you understand where that term comes from also to stop saying masterpiece with your bitch asses Okay, because back in the old operative days, they gave a man a rough, rugged, and raw stone. You got seven years to give your master's peace. So you can say that you are an actual stone mason, that you have hewn this stone from the ugly, rough, rugged, and raw uh, quarry, and have made a perfect all side ashlar. That's what a mason means, master builder. That's it. And all the brothers out there who were in soup kitchens, giving their time, like we said before, giving to humanity, all the brothers out there who are organizing, uh, food banks and, and pantries and churches, all the brothers out there who are in front of the welfare center giving good tips and all that, all the people working in there helping folks out, okay, these are all great Masonic works, whether you realize it or not. Pay attention. You're doing the work of building. Pay attention. You're making sure your people are right. You constantly got them fed, informed, okay? You are doing exactly what these charges demand of you. So when you hear brothers like us constantly talking to you and correcting you, you might not be that far from a petition because you know what? You'd be great for the craft. This isn't a recruitment session, but know what you're doing, okay? Follow the steps of your path. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So politics is not that difficult. Just get involved on the smallest level. Don't try to be the president that fast. Look at the motherfucker front got gray hairs. Took him forever to get there. But he started off small. Just start off small. Start off in your house. Word. And, and stay off of Google, man. Stop giving the motherfucking Illuminati all this power. Freemasons are way powerful than the motherfuckers, you dig? Way That's why more. we talk freely like this, because we know what you don't. True indeed. Okay? So take the Illuminati. The, the bloods are more stronger than the Illuminati, nigga. Fuck out of here, yo. Like, when the last time you seen a rapper actually in the hood putting in that work? Not never. Not okay? never. Okay? So <clears throat> fuck, that Ill, fuck that Illuminati bullshit, okay? Them niggas is beneath me, B, and I'm publicly telling you niggas that, okay? Ooh, they're going to get me. No, I'm going to get them. Mm. 
fuck out of here, yo. Mm. Y'all niggas is way too brainwashed, B. True indeed. So and, I'm going to keep and walking around it. with all this diamond and shit on me till niggas finally get me. <laughs> yo, and the then real... I'm gonna buy some new shit after they rob me. <laughs> and also, too, to go along with that, man, take it, you know, give yourself some credit, man. Look in the mirror and say, <laughs> at the end of the day, you gotta look in the mirror and go, you know what? I've done good today. You should be able to at least. And if you haven't done good today, you know what? You know what you say? I'm fired. Don't some Donald Trump shit. Fire yourself that Fire day. Fire your fucking and self. And get up in the morning and go, you know what? I'm hired again. Today, Fire tomorrow's yourself. another day. Hopefully, if you get one, God willing, say your prayers. Like Denzel said, put your shoe way up under the bed so you got to reach down to get on your knees you and get your shoes right. in the morning. You feel what I'm saying? And you heard it right here on the Real Game Podcast. Heard up. Me and Lord Akhenaten, the Corquito King, we going to keep getting on the plantation and doing what we got to do to provide for our families while y'all niggas just keep playing with the Google search engine and shit, okay? Okay, we out there, we getting it, we getting it, we looking fresh to death while everybody in the recession, we make the shit look easy. Why? Because y'all believe all that shit that y'all see online. Yo, stay down to come up, get with a real nigga, get on the real game show if you feel that, you know, what I'm saying or he's saying ain't right and exact, and we'll just politely embarrass you. I would advise you to bring references and books because I have, and you can test me on it, I'll put my money on it, 3,000 low Latin words commemorated to memory like it's 120s, mm, okay? Mm, Do not play mm. with the man who walks around with six grand on his hand and no weapon. You dig? Mm. Something about me ain't right and exact. You dig? Yo. This is the Real Game Podcast. Catch us every Thursday on www.ustream.tv between 7 and 8 p.m. And if we late, so what? We still rolling. That's because Lord be driving all in the traffic like a wild man. You already know. Yo, next Thursday. You don't like me? Fine. But please be advised, man. I walk with the ancestors. Two L's up to my low-life family. Shout out to ILPC. And, um... Shout it out to everybody out there disagreeing in, uh, in silence. Because y'all niggas know you ain't going to come this way with that bullshit. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't beat you, I'm going to bite you and eat you. You did. Wear it out. Stay off that Google search engine shit. That shit ain't real, man. Pick up a book, man. Get a Britannica from A to Z, man. You know, get the, the fucking Spanish shit. The, get the law dictionaries, you know. And the word of <laughs> advice to all my pot smokers that's stuck in one track, switch the weed. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Every time. Switch, Switch it if you can. Yo, y'all take care, man. Peace.